ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਹੁਕਮਨਾਮਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਟੁਡੇ ਇਜ਼ ਔਨ ਅੰਗ 823 ਆਫ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਬਾਈ ਗੁਰੂ ਅਰਜਨ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਬਿਲਾਵਲ ਰਾਗ ਸਤਨਾਮ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਬਿਲਾਵਲ ਮਹੱਲਾ ਪੰਜਵਾ ਐਸੇ ਕਾਹੇ ਭੂਲ ਪਰੇ ਕਰਹ ਕਰਾਵਹ ਮੂਕਰ ਪਾਵਹ ਪੇਖਤ ਸੁਨਤ ਸਦਾ ਸੰਗ ਹਰੇ ਐਸੇ ਕਾਹੇ ਭੂਲ ਪਰੇ ਕਰਹ ਕਰਾਵਹ ਮੂਕਰ ਪਾਵਹ ਪੇਖਤ ਸੁਨਤ ਸਦਾ ਸੰਗ ਹਰੇ ਰਹਾਉ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਅਰਜਨ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਇਸ ਬਲੈਸਿੰਗ ਆਸ ਇਨ ਬਿਲਾਵਲ ਰਾਗ ਬਿਲਾਵਲ ਮਹੱਲਾ ਪੰਜਵਾ ਸਤਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਬਿਗਿਨਸ ਟੁਡੇ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਟੁਡੇ ਇਜ਼ ਹੁਕਮ ਵਿਦ ਅ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਐਸੇ ਇਨ ਥਿਸ ਵੇ ਕਾਹੇ ਭੂਲ ਪਰੇ ਕਾਹੇ ਵਾਏ ਹੈਵ ਯੂ ਫਰਗੋਟਨ ਓ ਵਾਏ ਆਰ ਯੂ ਫੀਰ ਵੰਡਰਿੰਗ ਅਰਾਉਂਡ ਲੋਸਟ maharaj ji begins with this question that feeling of being lost that feeling of wandering which is within most of us guru sahib ji brings uh that abruptly into the light with this very direct question essay in this way kahe pool pare why are you wandering around why are you deluded and then after that guruji explains when we ask what is this delusion what do you mean guruji says kar hain karav hain mukar paav hain pekhat sunat sada sang hare kar hain karav hain you do things you incite others to do things to take certain actions and then mukar paav hai mukar paav hai means that you deny that you that you ever did these things now what does that mean we do certain things and when the fruit of our actions comes back and it's sour and it's a fruit that we don't want then we deny that we ever did those bad things maharaj ji says kar hain karab hain mukar paav hain you do things you get others to do certain things and then you deny baguru ji says pekhat sunat sada sang hare pekhat means to watch sunat means to listen sada sang means to always be with you hare means akal purkh waheguru the divine the creator waheguru is always with you pramatma waheguru the supreme being is always looking and listening you cannot deny these things you cannot deny all those things you've done kabir sahib ji says in guru granth sahib ji jete paap ki rakhe tale duraye all of the sins you do to put the into simple english you you swish them under the carpet you put you put them under the carpet and you think that that covers them but no it, they're not covered rahul guru ji says pause and think about this this is this is what you have forgotten this is why you are deluded because you do not realize that whilst you are doing all these things there is that supreme being that pramatma sitting within watching and listening rahul guru ji says pause and think about this this is why you are wondering deluded now maharaj ji goes more into this kaach bihajan kanchan shadan you buy glass bihajan means to buy kanchan shadan kanchan means gold but you give up gold what glass are you buying the glass of worldly glory and all these other things you are buying this or the glass of material products kanchan shadan and you giving up the gold of 
spirituality, the gold of meditating upon the divine name, the Naam. Bari Sanghet, you are infatuated. Sanghet means to be infatuated with or to be in love with. Bari, your enemies. Now, what does this mean? Lust, ego, greed, desire. You are infatuated with those enemies, Sajan Tyag Kare. And you have given up your Kare, your true or worthy Sajan friend. Which friend? The Guru. Which friend? That Paramatma, that Vaheguru, that Divine Supreme Being who sits within watching and seeing. You've given up on that friend. And instead you have fallen in love with your enemies hovan kaura an hovan meetha hovan kaura that which is going to happen or what what is happening seems gaura seems bitter to you an hovan meetha that which isn't there in reality or that which is not real an hovan that seems sweet to you so one way of looking at this hovan kara, that which is going to happen, that which is real, which is death, that seems bitter. Unhoven mita, never ending life. We always think here that we have this idea that I'm never going to leave this world, but never ending physical life we think is a reality. But Guruji says you, you, you're infatuated with something which, which is unhoven, which isn't going to happen. That is what you think is sweet, Mita, that you're never going to leave this body. Hoven Kaura also means what's happening within our lives, the present. We do not look at the present as if it is a present. We look at the present as if it is poison. This is talking about the nature of our mind to not accept the will of a Kalapurk Vahiguru, the will of the divine being. Bikya Mehe Laptae Jare. You are Laptae completely engrossed in Bikya in poisons. And Jare and these poisons are burning you. Which poisons? The poison of ego, jealousy, greed. These poisons which we all feel they are burning us from within. And the Kupa Mehe Pareo Prani. Prani this being has fallen into, pario means fallen into, and goop, into a goop, into a well of and of darkness. Param gubar moh band pare. And what is the darkness? Param, delusion. And what is binding the person down? More, more means attachment. In this well, the darkness is of delusion. And being bound down is with attachment. And in this, you may ask the question, is there any escape? Guruji says, yes. Sri Guru Arjun Dev Ji Maharaj says, those upon whom Paramatma, Prabhu, Vaheguru, the Divine Supreme Being, is Dayara is blessed that those who are blessed by the divine being what happens to them what is the blessing of God Gurpita to meet the Guru that is the greatest blessing that God can give you so if we are listening to this Hukam and if we have a connection with this with the perfect Guru that means that we have received a great blessing by Kalpurk. And what does meeting with the the Guru do? The, what does the Guru do? Kada Baha Fare. The Guru grabs hold of. Fare means to grab hold of. Grabs hold of your Baha. Grabs hold of your arm and pulls you out of this darkness. Pulls you out of delusion. Pulls you out of attachment. That is what the Guru does. That is the the, the action performed by the Guru. That is the role of the Guru. To pull out the sick from the darkness of delusion and attachment. Andakup mah pareo parani param gubar moh band pare kaho nanak prabhot dayara gur pita kadai baha pare 
ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ